Is this the return of the BMW Z4 Coupe? You can decide with us, join the comment section and tell BMW, they will read it, if they should build this or not. So far, the Z4 Roadster in this very generation also has the same double kidney, but here the Coupe, the first version for it, has these vertical fins in a dual fin design. It's actually pretty amazing, right? Especially with the bronze accentuations. They also use a special brown color here. Well, that's maybe a matter of taste, isn't it? Wheels, also special unique design, bronze and also 20 inch in the front, whereas they use 21 inch in the rear. And here then the most obvious difference, the Z4 Roadster or Z4 Roadster, of course, has the convertible roof. And here you have the fixed roof and then this touring coupe design. That's how BMW calls it with a really, really strong hip area right here. In a sculptural way, the rear lamps already begin right here and then continue to the rear. And here, one more time, also the frames around these bronze accentuations. And you have here this concept car I like design for the rear. Very spectacular and it looks kind of narrow. Soon we'll take a look inside. In the lower part, the exhaust tips. No job for the outer group fake exhaust police because it really is a nice transition to the outside tips. Let's take directly a look inside here. Look at that. And then we have this loading area. They also designed some bags for it. Let's take them out. And then you can see this is then the loading area you have available. Under the hood, the BMW 3 liter inline six cylinder for this very vehicle in here. We know it from the roadster, 340 horsepower. It really depends if they just built a very small amount of numbers, like, you know, 10 to 100 or 200 vehicles then probably only with the six cylinder. If they go a little bit wider, maybe then also a cheaper four cylinder. We'll have to see about that. But again, it's not yet certain if they will build this one. It depends on your feedback. Let's take a look at the interior. Here at the inside of the doors, you can see the top part, not only plain black, but it's also this brown note. And you also follow that on the dashboard and also on the steering wheel makes it a little bit more exciting in this case and only an animal skin equipment we have to see how it ends up in the final version if they respond for example with this really strong stitching there at the side and you also have the same integrated head restraint setup like in the roadster with this hole here once again reminding us of racing seats seating position basically like in the roadster headroom with 189 or 6 for 2 there is enough left and yeah you have this typical roadster Oh, in this case, coupe driving feeling with a low seating position here. And of course, the screens actually, they are not updated yet with a new generation. That's like in the current Z4. I like that they still use a classic shifting lever right here. Just gives you the sportier feeling. And you can see from the inside, you can look through the luggage area. Now tell me and also BMW, yes or no, vote in the comments. I think it's a very beautiful concept, definitely, especially from the exterior. It works, but I personally, I would always go for the Roadster because open top, nothing beats that. And then you can also tune in to our Z4 reviews right now.